All right, good morning, Screwball here. It is, I believe, day 35 of the journey. It is March, what? Yeah, I don't know the day's date, um, but I'll get that to you when I get off and look again. Nine o'clock, we're just leaving. We camped on a little bit of campsite back down that trail. Nancy had parked here. Uh, me, Oso, camper, um, wander out there. And then today, this morning, I didn't get them on film. We had a few come through that had stopped a while back that actually a gentleman um, we had done trail magic last year for. He, he was doing the hiking, so he didn't finish, so he's redoing it this year. Um, and so there's a couple of new folks that's coming by. We're going to Irwin, Tennessee today. It's 11 point something miles. Uh, beautiful morning so far, but they're calling for rain about 12, 1 o'clock, maybe some thunderstorms. So we're going to try to get on up there. I am the last one leaving other than Nancy. She's finished packing up and she's going to go. So, um, <clears throat> stay with me. Let me get going. And, uh, as soon as I see something worth videoing, I will get it out there. Y'all have a great day because I know I am. All right, come up here on the first little bridge with the water cross. That's also going across. Nice little waterfall there. Done some work on the bridge here, that's nice. So we're gonna follow this stream up, it's just not close enough to get any videos. All right, moving on. See what's up, the holler tree. Here we go. All right, let's move on down the trail. A little boily spot coming up in the middle of the trail. It may just be a wet weather spring. But coming right up in the middle of the trail. It'll be a pretty good source if you need some water. All right, let's move on. Six on one off. All right, there's some just a little view. We're going back down in a sense now. We got some ups and downs, but we're following this valley back down. Oso back there behind me. Camper somewhere in front of us. He left about 30 minutes before we did with a chit chat and dinner bell behind us. So you look off down in that valley, you can see pretty good drop. So let's move on down the road. Actually starting to see some little red buds out there on some of the trees. So spring is coming, just taking its time. But it's still working our way down this valley. All right, Scribble here. It's 1030, March 20th. I forgot to put the date on there. Uh, March 20th. So we've been, uh, been on trail an hour and a half. Um, I'm at... My marker 337, I believe. I'll I'll double check that. I forgot too many numbers going through my head. Um, we got about seven more miles into Irwin, but uh, as you can tell, I don't know. It's getting darker. We may not beat this rain into Irwin, but we're gonna try. Um, <clears throat> I picked up my pace a little bit. Uh, dropped down out of the big timber winds. We're going down. We're getting back into the. Um, rhododendrons and um, the evergreens and stuff here. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there and let you know what was going on. And uh, as soon as I find something else good, I'll let you know. Little water drainage I've come across. All right, uh, just had lunch a little while ago. But here's some pretty good rock outcroppings. I got the trees growing on them. So we're going downhill into Irwin. I'm not sure. Got about two hours left, I believe. There's a cave, but believe me, I'm not gonna climb up there to it. Let me see if I can get it on here. 
right up in there. I am not going to climb up to it, but there's a cave. Let me get around this mess here. Let's see. Yeah, it's just right up in there. Got a pretty good fall on this side of me. You can hear water running up here. That's a pretty good rock bluff right there. If you were on top of it. Anyway. That tree ball on that one. Alright, let me move on. He's known down here, but I'm gonna give you a screwball's little things at the moment. Little whatever it is. These little on this moss just look like little trees on the side of the mountain. Haven't really seen a whole lot of that. But that whole rock there just caught my attention. So that's Screwball's little things moment of the day. starting to rain. I haven't looked to see how far out I am. I figure I'm at least another over a mile and a half out. Uh, you can see down in the valley. You can hear it hitting on the umbrella. So I'm just, uh, all I got is my umbrella. I didn't even put on my rain suit. When I get into the hotel room, I'll get some dry clothes. But this is what I'm walking in at the moment all right i have no idea whether or not you can actually see this well enough it's gonna quit raining but the fog coming up from below in that mountain over there now ryan this is what i was looking at when i was talking to you on the phone those mountains way back there if you look under that limb way back there in the background man that's that's a beautiful sight you can see the river down below Irwin is uh, if you look through them trees down there, you can see parts of Irwin. The rain gives and this comes out and then, like I said, the camera can't do it justice. So, go spin around, just look behind me. You can see it's kind of smoky back there. All right, well, let me get on. There's a mountain way over there through the trees. Let me get on so I can get down there and Nancy's waiting on me at the bottom. And, uh, that's what I'm looking at, Ryan, when you called or when we were talking. All right, it's two o'clock. I'm a mile out of Irwin, Tennessee. There's the interstate right there. You can see it going up to there. If you listen, you can hear some geese down down underneath there squawking there's the river i just noticed the little flowers on the tree right here I don't know if i can get them to come up little flowers on the tree right there and so anita them's the flowers i was saying about but this is what i was looking at anita my sister whenever um i was talking with you Irwin, tennessee i'm some i'm a mile till i get to the road where Nancy picks me up. So let me get moving. And um, the sun, well, the sun ain't out, but it has finally quit raining. And I appreciate y'all watching. All right, on a little switchback going back away from the river. Some mossy banks. So just wanted to. Throw that in there, it looked like a good little shot. All right, look what I just happened to walk across and see the slithering across here. Don't know if the rain's got him just added to where he wanted to move or not. <laughs> little bitty snake. There he goes, move on, Mr. Snake.